Hey friends, Catherine here, and we are going to be pouring over this painting today. I liked it when we did it, and I, I'm still not opposed to it. I just kind of wish... So this was this was our stencil pour. We poured through a stencil for this one. I just wish we'd done it on top of a canvas that had already been painted. But you live and you learn. Then this would show up over, and you'd be able to see the, the previous painting through it. That would have been awesome. I didn't do that, and I don't like having the blank canvas spots showing through. So we know for next time. Um, but what we are going to do today is we're going to try two different things. We're going to do a balloon smash because I'm loving those right now. And we are going to try something a little bit different with, um, with the spray bottle. So let's just start by putting down a base color. I'm thinking a nice dark gray blue. That might be too much. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We'll spread that around real quick and we'll see what we end up with. Let's also level this out before we forget. There we go. That's something closer to level now. All right. Um, let's Spread this around really quickly. Just want to kind of have that nicely coating the background, not too thick, but kind of thick. I don't want it to be so thin as to have been just only brushed on, you know, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to kind of even it out a little bit with my brush here. And that's probably good. All right. Let's rinse that out real quick. I'm going to have to get a new cup of water. I should get a new cup of water after every painting, but I don't always. It'll be fine. And then let's just start with a puddle. I mixed up this this is a paint made by Apple Barrel that I've mixed with Floetrol and um, water. And this color is called Kiwi, and I love it. So let's just put a good puddle right in the middle there for the moment. And then go in with some other colors. Let's just, let's just mix it up. I've got a bunch of different paints mixed over here right now, so let's just... Do a bunch of different things. We're just trying it out today. We're not choosing our colors particularly for anything. We're just putting them out. That's an awful lot of bright colors there. We want to darken that up again. Maybe, maybe some black in the middle. There we go. That black could probably use a little bit more water mixed into it. Um, maybe some red. I might be putting too much paint on here. We'll see. It'll work out. And then maybe a little bit more of that green that, that I love. That is just such a gorgeous color. Okay. Okay, that is definitely enough paint. Probably too much. We'll see how it goes. So next thing that we want to do is take our balloon and smash that paint around. All right. Balloon. It's kind of maybe off center a little bit. Smash it in. Pick up some color. Oh. Ah. That's so cool looking. Love that. Let's come over to this corner over here. Yes. Let's just wipe that balloon off a little bit. Okay, that's probably good. And then right there. Whew. Okay. That's pretty cool looking too. I love the way the paint looks on the balloon always. That's always a cool looking thing. Oh, that was a really good one. Okay, let's wipe our balloon off a little bit more. 
not onto our hand. See, I should really learn to wear gloves. I have a box of gloves right here next to me. I should learn to wear them. There we go. This is gonna be all kinds of bright and amazing colors. Okay, probably. Put that paper over, get the balloon a little bit cleaner. Okay, and then this area right here. Ooh, oh that. That was the best. I love it. All right. It has been said before that I do not know when to stop, but I'm telling you, this is the time to stop. Um, so the other thing that I wanted to try today, and I almost don't want to try it over this because this looks so cool, um, but we're doing an experiment today, so we're experimenting. The other thing that I wanted to try, try today was the last painting that I did, I took and I sprayed some spray silicone over it and it pushed the top layer of paint out of the way and created this lovely texture and cells. Um, but I think, I don't think it actually needed the silicone to do that. I think it was the mass of the silicone displacing the top layer of the paint and revealing the layers underneath. And I don't think that's necessary with silicone. I think you can get the same effect with a spray bottle with water in it. So this is a spray bottle of water. I've got it set to mist, sort of. That's mistish. Um, and we will just, we'll try. Oh, oh. Well, that's definitely not the same effect that you get with silicone, but I don't hate it. That's definitely interesting. Well, that's, yeah, no, I'm into it. Okay. It kind of blurs it out a little bit, so I've not got such quite clean lines on that anymore, but I'm not mad about that. Yeah. That's a fantastic effect. All right, so spraying it with water is not the same as spraying it with silicone, but it's awfully fun looking anyway. I hope you guys try it out. Get a spray bottle with water yourselves and try spraying your own wet paintings with water because at the very worst, you have to re-pour a canvas, which is no great hardship in my personal opinion. Um, and at the very best, you end up with this diffuse, I don't know, the, the best example I can find is this right here with the black and the peach underneath. That's, that's just crazy looking. I love it. I hope you like it too. If you do try it, let me know. I would love to see what effects you guys get. And, um, remember to subscribe. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.